Now from WPTV, this is News Channel 5 at 6. Flooding in and around Houston, Texas, getting worse every hour. Now the levee in Brazoria County, just south of Houston, has been breached. And those who haven't left there and are able to are told to get out as quickly as they can. If all the water the levee holds was to break free, it could wash away everything in the surrounding area. It's a reminder how ongoing slow repairs to an aging dike on Lake Okeechobee are important for our safety. Dike reinforcement is expected to be completed by 2025, but for many, that isn't soon enough. And Governor Rick Scott agrees. News Channel 5's Alex Higgins live in Belle Glade with the push to speed dike repairs. Alex. Well, Michael Kelly, more than 40,000 homeowners, residents living along Lake Okeechobee, they are at risk from this aging dike. The concern tonight is a storm like Harvey may pass through and threaten this close knit community. That's all I got. I mean, I, I, I've been other places, but I'd rather be in than to be anywhere. No place Robin Tate would rather be. Yes, sir. The Glades is his livelihood. I've been here all my life. And if anything were to devastate his community. No, sir. Not at all. Not him. It's very important that we protect this community. For many folks out here along Lake Okeechobee, this aging dike is seen as the biggest threat to this community. And Harvey is Tammy Jackson Moore's reminder. If Lake Okeechobee overfloods and if the dike is breached in any way, all the attention will be right here in our community as well. The 70 plus year old dike keeps more than 40,000 residents safe. Since the early 2000s, the federal government has spent close to $900 million repairing the dike. You do everything possible to make sure it's secure. The concern is repairs are not getting done fast enough with an estimated finish date in 2025. Get the dike done. Governor Rick Scott wants to expedite those repairs. Work to get $50 million in the budget this year in the state budget. I'm going to work to get more money in there next year to accelerate this. We got to get this done as quickly as we can because, you know, we hope we never have have uh, an event like that. However, until repairs are finished, this community, the ugly means the world to me. people like Tate and Tammy will always have their safety in the back of their minds. It's always on the minds of everybody. We wake up every day um, thinking about the possibility that this dike may or may not fail. Now, Scott said he did meet with President Trump in Washington, D.C. just a couple weeks ago, and the president told him he is committed to repairing this dike. Reporting live in Belle Glade, Alex Hagan, WPTV News Channel 5. The rain continues to fall.